Today, the EU has trade agreements in place with many countries. People often believe these deals only benefit big international companies. But they actually help more small businesses than you might think. Take a firm like Manufacturer. It produces traditional handmade pottery in Bolesławice in Poland. Company owner Pavel Sviets wanted to export to South Korea, where the type of pottery his business makes is very popular. Unfortunately, high import duties made this hard. Or Aran Leon, a winery from Valencia in Spain that specializes in organic wines. This type of wine isn't much in demand in Spain, but it's highly sought after in Canada. The problem was certain rules that Canada had put in place. These made it harder for imports of alcoholic drinks from Europe to compete on the Canadian market. There's also Reclay, a German recycling company. It wants to export its know-how to the Canadian province of British Columbia, where one firm holds a monopoly on recycling. Reclay's global strategy manager, Adrian Van Arm, is convinced more competition could create new export opportunities for Reclay and cut local recycling costs in half if only reclaim was allowed onto the market. By lifting trade barriers, EU trade deals have benefited all three companies, as well as their employees, their families, and even their communities. Look at Manufacturer today. Following a trade deal with South Korea, a third of its ceramics are now sold there. Its workforce has gone from 10 to 213 employees. And a new pottery museum in Bolesławice welcomes 10,000 tourists a year from around the world. Just think how many enjoy a drink or a meal in one of the local restaurants. At Aran Leon, company owner Maria Sancho also has plenty of reasons to be cheerful. In 2015, her firm sold 100,000 bottles of wine in Canada, making it the largest distributor of organic wine in the province of Quebec. Once a new trade deal between the EU and Canada is up and running, Canadian wine lovers might get even more of a taste for Spanish wines. And all of those empty bottles could provide extra work for recycling companies like Reclay. The upcoming trade deal between the EU and Canada will break down even more barriers for European companies and could make it possible for Reclay to bid for public contracts in Canada. These are just three examples of the many small companies across Europe that EU trade deals have helped, or are set to do so and helping them matters. More than 600,000 small businesses in the EU export outside Europe, and over 30 million jobs across Europe depend on exports outside the EU. Find out more about how the EU helps small businesses export successfully. ec.europa.eu trade